Well, he's kept it a secret for years, but now a Portland State University professor is sharing his ambitious project with the rest of the world. Yeah, you can say that again. Dr. Cameron Smith has built a homemade spacesuit, right. and he plans to use it to travel 50,000 feet in the air with the help of a balloon. We have more on Dr. Smith's technical conquest and Tim Becker's life at large. Main panel power switch on. And I was convinced that they were gonna, that I was gonna go to space, that I was gonna go to Mars, and um, when I was, you know, 10 years old. I can simulate it all right here at home. Uh, I haven't had any blowouts. Uh... What little boy at one time or another hasn't dreamed of flying to space, soaring high above the Earth, walking on the moon, it's just a natural. Cameron is one of the most determined people I've ever met in my life. I, I envy his drive. Every zipper, every strap, every seam is part of a delicate, deliberate design. Every stitch is by hand. I don't even have a sewing machine. Handmade, homemade by PSU professor Dr. Cameron Smith. We're ready to go into the seat and uh, pressurize. He bought a Russian pilot's helmet off eBay. $350. Uh, it was it was used. You can see it's been used. There's sweat stains inside it. <laughs> Valves, gauges, and instruments from right up the street. I walk to Ace Hardware. I give them my cash. I walk home with parts of a pressure suit. <laughs> a fully functional space suit after three years of continuous crafting. I'm definitely restless. Right there in his Pearl District uh, apartment. I started seeing space suits from the point of trying to design one, again, it demystifies it. It, it takes it Demystification apart, it? through adventure and exploration. It's what he does, whether crossing a frozen ice cap or sailing the Pacific on a handmade pre-Columbian replica raft. The lower stratosphere is next. So it's a different world inside the pressure suit. Nice cool air coming in. He'll use the spacesuit he designed to soar 50,000 feet above Earth in a balloon he plans to build also. For an explorer who teaches and writes about anthropology and evolution, this <sighs> is just another chapter. Building this allows me to practice exactly what humanity has been doing for four million years. Figure out a problem, design a solution. That's what humanity has been doing for a long time. So, to survive. He likes to sort of test the boundaries. You know, how far can he push things? Not to the point where it's foolhardy. I've been really thrilled in the last few weeks with some tests. Assuring safety is the next step in his creation. An achievement now very real, once just a sketch on paper. And before that, only a dream driven by desire that only a kid could ever conjure. Definitely fulfilling a childhood dream. <laughs> Reporting for you, Tim Becker, Coin Local 6. In his apartment, mm -hmm. right there in his apartment, like he's having got that guests built. over. Hey, exactly. what's that? Oh, it's my spacesuit. It's a little project I'm right. working on. He's you hoping know. to get his uh, balloon pilot's license by 2014, so he can actually put that spacesuit to use.